What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are gonna go over some of the best investments you guys need to do, like need to buy right now. The only problem with this is I'll explain in a second, but before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like, 120 likes in the video for MT giveaways on my Twitter. Make sure to follow my Twitter, it's at your bugs. And also, before we get into the video, we're going to run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And yo, please drop the sub. And yeah, the only problem is with this video, if I release this, I'm going to go over some investments that I think is valid. Now. These investments might get ruined by a lot of people doing it. So I'm just letting you know if they don't work out, it is not my fault. It's some investments that I think it's worth it and I think you guys should go into. But yeah, let's get into it without further ado. Let's go. So first off with the investments, bro, I always come down to the Amethyst filter. Why? First off, not only is this filter the best for investments, this filter is the best for sniping in general. So... I'm just gonna say this flat out. Um, this filter, bro, it has been destroyed sort of because of these Amis, but this filter honestly is so good for investments. Like these cards for around a thousand MT, they're not gonna stay. Um, this card is 9049, he's a very good budget baller. I think his price is a very good chance to go up to 2K. You have to realize these packs did just drop. So obviously, I mean, honestly, not even obviously, I think these cards have a really good chance of going up. I hope they do. I might invest a ton. If I invest 100K and they go up to like 2,400, it's doable. Now, some cards I compare this to, if you guys remember, Reggie Jackson Prom is around 1,300. I'm going to show you his price now. This is literally about a month later, but it actually, his price went up like, I would say a week later. So let's go over his price real quick. I believe he's up to like, so like, look at that. He's 2,700 MT, Prime Reggie Jackson. This card was around 1,300 MT. This card is up to around 3,000 MT. So if you bought 100 of them, you made 1,500 each, 150K made, over 150K made. I mean, investments are really good, guys. And if you guys notice any market trends, you guys need to invest. Investing is a very big part of this market. I know a lot of my subs invest in a ton of cards. Like they take a million MT, put it all in investments, and it works out. Like Eric Pashaw for a thousand MT. Let me go over this. So this card is a 95-92. He is a power forward, small forward with amazing stats. I think he's decently fast too. 85 speed. This card is an ideal small or power forward. For a 94-92, this guy's a budget baller for 1k. I honestly think he also has the hype beast check. So if you guys want, I would recommend investing in this card. And not only that, I honestly don't think his price could really go under a thousand, bro. I'm pretty sure his quick sell is around a thousand. Let's check that out real quick. Yeah, his quick sell is a thousand, so. If you're getting him for around a thousand MT and he doesn't rise, like you're pretty much only gonna lose 50 MT at worst. So, might as well take the chances at 1100 MT. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you though. It's not up to me. It's up to you. Um, other investments I would recommend. One trending investment that I have seen drop and go up consistently is Diamond Lonzo. This Diamond Lonzo is actually I play him on my God Squad. He's so good. i never seen a point guard dunk like that in my life. He has insane dunk animations. He went from around 18, 20K to around 30K. Now, if you could somehow get him for 20K, he's a really good investment. I really do recommend. Not only that, obviously, bro, the diamond filter is key for investments. 
Um, we got the Diamond Danny Manning. We got the JoJo Whites. If you invested in a ton of JoJo Whites for around 3K, you have dubbed out. He went up a ton. That locker code was kind of limited, low key. Like it wasn't that like easy to get a JoJo White. So his price dropped a lot. Now it wasn't a guaranteed JoJo White. There was obviously other cards in there. So if you invested in any of those cards that actually rose, even the Ami Pierce rose. So some investments, bro. Investments also come in through locker codes. So if you guys do like notice that since they do come in locker codes, some of them do. Now, if they drop a guaranteed locker code like Donovan Mitchell, it's either get the 95 or 93, that's a no-no because those cards be dropping all day. But he was around 2,000 at a point that Donovan Mitchell. He's now around 5,000 MT. So sometimes you do got to stay patient. Obviously, you have to stay patient. All right, so let me think. What other investments we have? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, we missed it. So Jay Williams is actually a good investment as well. Considering he's actually always good in 2K, he's fast, he could dunk, and he could shoot, and he has decent defense, but 90, 99 and 94. He's an offensive god, he's a 6'2 point guard. This card, in my opinion, a very good investment. You saw it with the Chauncey Billups, you saw it with a ton of diamond cards. You're talking about a 4,000 MT diamond that has very good stats. So I missed that card for 4,000 MT. He's going for around 6-ish, 7-ish K. That was a pretty tough miss. So now, if I were you guys... I would recommend staying on his filter and just stacking up on him. That's what I would do. You guys don't have to do it, but I just feel like it's really good if you do. Um, I would try to get him for around 5,500 and under. I have a feeling a couple will pop up. So this car is obviously really good to invest in, and Danny Manning himself is really good to invest in. Considering there are in packs, you kind of always want to put the guys in packs during investment. So whoever's in packs is always players to look at investing, especially when they're spammed on the market, as much as Danny Manning, Jay Williams, and the other Amethysts. And also, another good investment, if you guys have not invested in already, Thaw Maker was actually a really good investment. I'm pretty sure he went up a ton. I sniped out about five for around 1,000 MT. I don't know what he's going for. We're about to check. Let's see. Thaw Maker. All right, he's actually not that expensive. But I know, uh, yeah, no. So I got him a couple for like a thousand MT. He's up to 2K. So you're gonna make about 800 to a thousand MT profit off this card. Now, if you did invest in him, you made a lot of MT. It just shows, but investing takes patience. So if you're gonna spend all your MT on this card and you're gonna complain about having no MT, it's not my fault, bro. It's your fault. I always like to invest and at least keep some MT for sniping. As you can see, man, this Don Maker card was a very hot card to snipe during the Prime Packs. I'm pretty sure the Prime Packs are gone, though, which they are. So what else? What else do we got here that we could invest in? Jimmer for Dead feels like a pretty decent investment, too. I think if you could snipe some out at around 25k, it'll pay off. I honestly think he could go up to 40k. Um, he's going for around, I believe, 33 right now. So if you can get some for around 25 or under, I believe that is a pretty good price. Um, he has that Hall of Fame range. He has amazing offense. He doesn't really have defense. But this card is not a bad investment. And if you guys have any other questions of investments, please let me know because I would love to answer them. Because I would honestly like to think about myself. I would like to think about this myself as well. Because investments are key to this game. And a lot of gods, a lot of people that really are good at the market does invest very good so kind of want to learn some tips from you guys as well aaron baines wasn't a bad investment well it was hot most of my investments are here i like to keep in my outcomes and if you guys also invested in michael ray richardson and chauncey billups which i said they went up a ton so investments i would definitely say looking forward to jimmy for debt jay danny manning Pashal, okafor Culliver and DiVincenzo, maybe. Let's check their price before we do end this video. Ruby DiVincenzo is actually... How much is he? So he's... Nah, I mean... I feel like the max MT you can make off this DiVincenzo is like 300 MT per. Totally up to you. He does have good stats and all. Uh, he's alright. I mean, I maybe could see him going up to 1500 MT. He has 85 offense, 99 defense. What? I didn't even know he was good at defense. This card's amazing. What? Um, I could see this card going up to 1,500. 
So honestly, try sniping him for 900 and under. And yeah, honestly, it's really all I got for the video. Obviously, hope you guys did enjoy. Some tips for you guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.